guys? Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. He is I and I am him. Thick with a big old stick. Beastly Gamer here. What's happening? Today, I'm playing a little bit of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, if you guys have been wondering what I've been playing, uh, I used to spend a lot of time playing Destiny, but that whole environment and the people I was playing with just really perturbed me. And I uh, kind of... It makes me feel sick when I play it. So I got into a much better community with much better people and people who I actually like playing with. And of course, my wife, right next to me, playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4. We've actually already pre-ordered uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Rebooted, and that looks incredible. I just can't wait to get my hands on that. And yeah, it's kind of a surprise. Uh, I would have never thought that uh, I would end up falling back in love with Call of Duty. I remember one day we were playing World War Z and I asked her and I, I said, hey look, you wanna try some Call of Duty? And uh, she was like, yeah, I'm down. And we've been playing this ever since. So now it's probably been, I would say two months, two and a half months of consistently playing this game every minute we can. And of course I'm running the S6 Stingray, the gun that's been nerfed to hell. And as you guys can see, I still own this game. I even got a 52 and 13 game I'm going to upload later to show you guys how to play with the Stingray. Trust me, they've nerfed this gun. It, it used to be incredibly powerful with the explosive uh, rounds and things like that. And of course, they went and nerfed it because people were complaining. I actually was in a game with someone last week uh, who, who told me, he said, Beastly Gamer, um, I just reported your, your account. And I, I was like, why? And he was like, I reported you because of that damn Stingray, that Essex Stingray. And, I, and I, I was really upset. I said, why would you report me if I'm not cheating? He said, well, that gun is a cheat. I said, well, they put it in the game, so what the hell is your problem? And so, obviously, uh, Activision has been getting a lot of complaints from a lot of players who are upset that they can't buy this game. You have to win it. You have to get very lucky. And, of course, Kate and I, we both have this gun, so we run it quite a bit. She also has a Peacekeeper. Uh, and, and I have a lot of fun playing it. You guys haven't talked to me or I haven't talked to you guys in a while about video games. So what have I been thinking about? Of course, I see that the new 10th generation of video game consoles on the horizon. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I've been spending more time buying games and playing them. Of course, the Nintendo Switch goes with me everywhere I go. Uh, but between work, running our business, and family, it's hard for me to... Uh, to justify playing it as much as I'd like to, but I'm really excited about uh, The Witcher 3 coming to the Nintendo Switch. To me, that's it's unreal that uh, Nintendo was actually able to, um, or CD Projekt Red was able to convert that over to the Nintendo Switch. I saw Digital, Digital Foundry's video on it, and uh, it looks really, really, um, I guess you could say downgraded, but I don't care, you know, run it on a 720p screen, run it in 720p on a big screen, but the, the prospect, ooh, man, that Mantis is about to get down. It's about to get down. I think I go like 30 and 3 this game. Yeah, and so I know some people will say, well, Beastly, you can't. I call it strategic play. I'm strategically placing my character so that I don't get killed. I'm like the Muhammad Ali of Call of Duty. I like to hit you, and I don't like to get hit back. So I'll do whatever it takes for me to, to put shots on you and not get hit back. And as long as I... Ooh, somebody was in there. That Mantis is so beasty, man. Ooh, got him again. This this is so nice. Oh, man. And what you do with this gun, you just let, let it loose. Let it loose. Just, you know, shoot the round uh, into a room. I think there was one room I was trying to, to aim into and I was missing. But this guy, I think there's two guys up there. One, okay. The Mantis is just beast mode. And I end up getting it again uh, before the end of this round. And you guys, you guys will see something funny that I actually do. But uh, now the PS5 and the uh, the new Xbox is coming out. And, uh, man, I, I was very, very late to watching E3 and watching Microsoft's conference. Uh, but I thought it was really impressive. Uh, believe it or not. The thing that impressed me the most about E3, uh, besides, of course, Final Fantasy, um, was Microsoft's showing of a game called um, Microsoft, uh, I want to say, um, it, it's, a, it's an airplane game. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Uh, Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator blew my mind. Ooh, come on in. In the words of my boy 402 Thunder, come on in. 
man. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know what? Recently, I just started using the scope. I really like it, and I gotten to the point now where ooh, I'm out of I'm out of bullets. I gotta steal somebody's stuff. Ooh, look, looky, looky, looky. So I'm gonna use this and go ahead and get me another kill streak. But uh, Flight Simulator for Microsoft's Xbox, the new Xbox, kind of blew my mind with the photorealism. Of course, I'm more excited for uh, the PS5 uh, because I'm more into Sony's ecosystem as far as gaming goes. But uh, I'm hearing five, six hundred dollars. I'm already ready to take the hit and jump into the, you know, step into the 90s. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, the, the new generation of consoles looks pro. Ooh, snipers, nests, and mantis. Come on in. Check it out. Check this out. Throw the mantis, right? Call the sniper's nest. And then what do you do? First, you got to find a nice spot and bust a move. I'm about to bust a move on him. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> because I just wrecked this whole team. I'm talking about getting down, baby. Get down zombie style. <laughs> I mean, I could have been controlling the Mantis or, or running around getting more kills, but I felt like, you know, I pretty much dominated this game. It was pointless to even, you know, continue to try hard. I'm not sweaty in this game. Uh, I'm not young. I got old fingers, old man fingers, 40-year-old fingers, but it's still a lot of fun. And uh, believe it or not, this is just really old school to me it's not people strafing through the air it's it's reminiscent of the way call of duty used to be Ooh, it's time to give it to them it's time to give it to them too bad i can't uh jump with the mantis but yeah the ps5 the i think it's xbox scarlet uh really exciting the new nintendo switch i'm thinking of grabbing that for my wife i don't know if i can justify it because she may not play it uh, between homeschooling our kids and you know running our business is hard for her to play <laughs> on the go like she used to. But I wanted to show you guys this footage and say what's up. Let you guys know I'm still thinking about you. I'm still into my games. Looking forward to the future of uh, The Last of Us. Looking forward to the new God of War. Looking forward to everything coming to the PlayStation 5. You guys let me know what you've been playing lately and look forward to some more videos coming real soon. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I went 38-3. and three. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time.